This is Average Guy Wood Chopping, and uh, today we're going to be chopping some wood. And uh, we're going to see if we can actually chop some wood. But first thing is most important to make sure that in the winter time, well, don't don't get your wood stacked up before winter. Just make sure to leave it lying on the ground so that when the snow comes, it freezes to the ground because it's more impressive. See, like if you go like, mm, I can't pick this up. This is all heavy. But watch, really impressive. If you take the back of the axe, sing you go, and you make the piece of wood move. It's impressive. Cool. So we're gonna take this big log now. We're gonna stack it on this stump, and we're gonna we're gonna swing the axe. And the most important thing is, I just learned that I've been chopping wood wrong, basically, for four years, because there's a different kind of axe you can use, and I'm gonna show that uh, in a different video. But see, in this video, we're using uh, the kind of axe that you would use to chop a tree like this. Not so much the kind of axe you would use to chop a, a log for firewood in the winter. That one has a different shape. It's called a maul. I just learned about it like, I don't know, six months ago. So I think from a guy named Thorne Bradley, which I guess is some kind of internet sensation guy. He showed up in my feed. I'm not sure why, but I guess he just randomly shows up in people's feeds because he's cool like that. Anyway, I'll make a separate video as a tribute to Thorne Bradley, but today we're just going to be an average guy chopping wood in an average way with an average axe. So here we go. So if you missed the log, the most important thing to do is not put that on the internet because it's gonna happen to everybody, I think. Several times, probably. So if you missed the log, don't put that on the internet like I'm doing. And then you really wanna aim for the center of the log. So really get your stance good. I think you're just gonna aim right for the center of the log. See, and get it stuck. See, it's kind of impressive. We can get the axe stuck in the log like that. But it does start to split the log. So that's good. We're gonna try and hit the center of the log again. Up, oh, didn't quite get there. I mean, in truth, what I've learned with this ax is if you work your way around the log and try and chip off the outside pieces, it's much easier with this kind of ax. I've never used them all before, so I'm gonna use them all in a separate video. But for today, just an average guy using an average ax chopping average wood. So we're gonna give this a shot again. So pretty impressive when it splits and splits like you want it to. But the important thing is to hit it on the side of the tree uh, because what will happen is it will get buried underneath the tree and it's especially useful when the tree is covered in snow. Then you have to go under here and dig the logs out, right? And uh, you get snow down your back. It's uh, it's quite an experience. I, I, uh, I don't recommend it, but it's fun, uh, sort of. Here we go, we're gonna be impressive again. All right. Really, really impressive is when you hit the piece of wood and it sticks in the log like this. Super impressive. All right, here we go. Now, what I hope is that it partially splits because then I can show you the trick to being really impressive on video. But here we go. We're going to split this again. Right down the middle. It didn't partially split, so that might have been impressive that it did split. But even more impressive is when it partially splits because then you know you're lined up for a really good shot for YouTube and whatnot, for TikTok. And I don't even have a TikTok. I'm probably gonna post this video to TikTok for my first ever TikTok. So that'll be fun. All right, well, let's be impressive two more times. I think these are just gonna split with one hit and uh, we'll, we'll just be impressive. Here we go. Impressive number one, but see, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the logs got underneath the tree here. So when this tree is covered with snow, and you try and go dangle in underneath, you just get covered in snow. It's, again, quite an experience. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna split one more piece of wood and uh, see if we can get it straight on here. Impressive, right? So that one was about an inch off of where I intended to hit it, but I mean, it comes down to what's an inch, really, right, ladies? So, impressive again, got stuck in the log. Just for good measure, let's split this one one more time. It's a little big for our small fireplace. And uh, we'll call it a day for this video. All right, here we go. See if we can be impressive. See, this one's on an angle. So I got to get my axe a little angled so I get it split properly. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So this is the kind of piece you can be really impressive with on YouTube. Because you could point this side and you wouldn't even know that this had already split. So you can get it lined up properly. It looks like it's not split. Well, anyway, if it's already mostly split, 
you can swing the axe and make it really impressive. But this one didn't partially split, it split all the way, so. All right, well that's it for average guy wood chopping with an average axe chopping fairly average wood. Enjoy your day. Is chopping wood on screen Wearing flannel shirts Like the lumberjacking kings yeah. With every swing They make a cut Stacking logs High, they're quick and they're tough Wood chopping heroes We salute you We salute you Posting bits online We're all watching too Watchin I'll make it look easy Like it's a breeze yeah. Chopping wood Bringing that social media